something mundane uh, today. I was thinking about different things to make videos about, and one of them is uh, bow keys and washers, which sounds kind of silly, but there's actually some neat stuff I can talk to you about bow keys. So, obviously the bow key or the pin holds the bow in place, and if we need a different depth adjustment on the bow, we just can drill different holes or have a set of holes. So as the animals get bigger, we can drop the, the bow down a little bit and use the bow key or the pin to hold it in place. And we typically just have the holes on the inboard side or the inside bow of the, each bow. But there's a couple cool bow keys that I have. I mean, if you're just, if you're building a yoke and you just need a pin, you just use any sort of R clip, a large R clip that you, you could get at a hardware store. There's other types of pins that hardware stores sell. It just literally has to go in and make sure, you know, make sure it doesn't fall out. So there's usually some spring-loaded piece on it that holds it in place. So these do work well. Um, you can buy specialized bow keys from different places as well. Um, they usually have a round shank and then kind of a spring, bigger spring flattened outboard side that goes around the bow, kind of like, like an R-clip, but it's specialty made. Those are really nice. And then we've got these, which are really cool. Sometimes you can find these. These are really hard to find. I don't know of anybody who makes these now. I wish if somebody does, let me know. I'd like to buy some more. These are some very old antique spring-loaded pins. And basically, you just stick it through there, and it holds in place that way and then won't come off. And then you have some holes in here. You could always put a piece of string or something or, or wire just to, as a double measure so you don't lose them. And these are really kind of cool. They just have a little spring in there in the hinge mechanism that keeps them in place. The first guy I sold my first team to was a machinist and he actually made me some. And I've had these for probably 25 or more years. And they're basically the same, it's just he welded them and machined them and there's a little pin in there to hold the spring in place and then he put a piece of cable on the outside so that we could put this on the outside of the, the bow. And then, you know, he, I don't know how many hours he had into making these, so in case they ever did come off, they would uh, they would stay on. So if anybody out there knows of a machinist who wants to take this on and try to build some of these, I'd be more than happy to give you dimensions and everything, but this is a really cool setup. And then here's some things about washers. So if we talk about washers and pins, obviously you build a nice yoke or you buy a yoke and you put a pin in the bow and it rests down against the top of the yoke. You don't want it to get marked up or anything. So there's a variety of types of materials you can use for washers. We used to actually make them out of leather, so you just get boot leather and just cut it out with a with a razor knife and make a you know an inner hole that has the clearance to go around the bow and then one on the outside, and that's what the pin rests on. You can make them out of small pieces of plywood, flat pieces of wood. Um, what I found, what I really like using is a material called UHMW. I work for a manufacturer and we use these in a lot of our products. It's ultra high molecular weight um, something is what UHM, it's basically plastic. It's a really, really rugged plastic and you can buy it by the sheet on Amazon if, if you wanted to check that out. So again, it's just the washer, the bow key, and then that way you don't mark up the yoke. Now, to cut out anything that's plastic or wood, I'm probably the only guy who never knew this, so maybe it's common knowledge, but I didn't, know that how to do it until recently a couple years ago you take a hole saw to get your outside diameter for whatever you're making a washer for and then you get the small one for the diameter of the bow and most of the time depending on which type you have you've got enough thread sticking out the center you can actually take the small one and put it on the big one and you drill it through whatever material you're using and you'll get the large drill on the outside um, for the outside diameter and then the smaller one on the inside will be the hole for the for the bow and it works pretty pretty good And there's your finished washer, and you can make them any size depending on the hole saw you use.